Hello everyone, Cindy here with Monarch Mom DIY. Thank you so much for joining me today on my channel where I love to bring you the best tips and tools for creating beautiful home decor on a budget. Today I am coming to you live from our family vacation here in Orlando, Florida. And what a better time to bring you budget beach home decor DIYs. So let's get crafting. For today's first DIY, we're making this beachy home palette sign using four of these wood palettes from Dollar Tree, some nautical rope, and one of these sand dollars. To start out, we're going to paint our four palettes with ocean, pool, agave, and white, doing all the fronts, inside the little spaces, and the sides, and the ends. I'm not gonna worry so much about the back, because we're not going to see that and we're going to be attaching these palettes together on the back as well. So here is our color called Ocean by Waverly in their chalk paint line. And then our second one, we're going to paint with Pool. It's a really nice light blue color. Agave is the teal and then of course white. These colors go very well together for any of your beach decor. Once the paint on all of our palettes are dry, I'm taking my mini sander here and distressing my palettes and the paint job a little bit to expose some of that natural wood. It's just a look that I like for my farmhouse beach decor. Next, we're going to flip our palettes over and butt them up against each other. I'm going to take some craft sticks. These are like a medium sized craft stick and I'm gonna cut some pieces that will fit between um, those other bracing pieces there. And we're going to hot glue these three craft sticks there on the spaces between each of our palettes. Now with those craft stick pieces in the middle, it was still a little wobbly, so I took these other flat um, wood sticks and I'm gluing those across um, those bracing pieces. You can see there, I have one stick going across the first and second cracks, and then this one here will go across the second and third, and then I'll do the same thing on the bottom. And now that we've got our sign all made, it's time to decorate the front. I'm going to use one of these sand dollars from Dollar Tree for the O. And then I'm using pieces of nautical rope that I have cut to make the letters H, M, and E. And then once I have those cut and laid out, I'll go ahead and hot glue everything down.
And here's our finished product. I love using these wood pieces from Dollar Tree to put together to make larger signs. Let me know in the comments what you think of this project. If you're stopping by my channel for the first time today, welcome and thank you so much for joining us. I hope you'll consider sticking around by hitting that subscribe button. And if you are a returning viewer or subscriber, welcome back and thank you so much for your support of my channel. DIY number two is a simple candle stand that I am making with the beach theme, but you can take this idea and modify it for any theme. I'm using a terracotta pot and one of these glass candle holder dishes from Dollar Tree. You can see I took both of my pieces and I sprayed them with a dark blue spray paint. Then once that was dry, I'm taking my mineral Waverly chalk paint and a chippy brush and I'm just dry brushing as much or as little as you want all over these two pieces. Once those are dry, I'm going to use some of the Fix All Adhesive from Dollar Tree, or you could use E6000. I would recommend a strong adhesive because the heaviness of these two pieces, but I'm just going to glue the candle dish right onto the center of the pot. Next, I decided to take some nautical rope from Dollar Tree and add more of the beachy, uh, theme to this by taking again the fix all adhesive and starting on the outside and I'm just going to continue gluing down this rope going all the way towards the center until I have the entire top covered. Once the rope on the top was done, I decided to go around one time around the lip or edge of the terracotta pot to bring the nautical rope down to the sides as well. Dollar Tree has a variety of the nautical wood shapes. So here I'm just choosing which one I want to put on the side and it is also going to help cover up the gap between the pieces of the rope. So I chose the anchor and I'm just applying a little bit of hot glue on the back. I'm gonna leave it the natural wood color, but of course you could paint this if you so choose. And the last step is just to place your candle on top. And then if you want, you can set some shells. These are larger ones that I had in my stash, but you could also use the small ones from Dollar Tree. For DIY number three, we're going to be making a faux driftwood seahorse using one of these rattan wreaths and one of these seahorse shaped signs from Dollar Tree. We'll also be using some chalk paint. So the first thing I'm doing is I am taking apart this rattan wreath. I had dry brushed some white paint on it. You can do that if you'd like. And I'm just breaking the pieces apart to make smaller pieces that will fit all the way across our seahorse sign. Then I did put a layer of white chalk paint underneath where I will then be gluing down the pieces of the wreath to look like driftwood.
Also, if you can't find the seahorse shape this year, or you'd prefer a different shape, you can do this with any of the signs from Dollar Tree. This is what it looks like with my pieces all laid out and then glued on and it hanging on my wall. This is an awesome technique that really is not very hard to do and looks great. If you love budget home decor DIY videos like this, please consider giving this video a thumbs up as that lets YouTube know people are enjoying my content and then they will show it to more and more viewers. For DIY number four, we're going to be making a really pretty beach sign using some of the larger five gallon paint sticks, some poster sticker letters, some paint of course, and these little wood fish clips from Dollar Tree as well as one of their starfish. So on these large five gallon paint sticks, I'm first cutting off the indented handle and then I'm cutting them close to the center, but I want my stick pieces to be slightly different lengths. So I think I cut them around nine inches and that gave me some different sizes. And I'm going to do this to four of the paint sticks to give me eight pieces. Now that my pieces are cut and laid out, I'm going to use Waverly chalk paint in the colors Pool, Elephant, Mineral, Agave, Ocean, and White. So a couple of those colors I'm going to use twice and I'm just going to paint them, let them sit, and then once they're all dry, we will attach them together on the back. Once the pieces are all dry, I'm turning them over to the back and lining them up staggered like this, like I want. And then we will use three of the one gallon paint sticks to glue them all together on the back. And because I always feel like beach decor needs to look a little distressed, I did take my board and sand it downstairs with my hand sander. Then using some of these poster letters from Dollar Tree, I'm starting with the A, which is the middle letter, and applying that over to the left-hand side, and then I will work my way up and down to spell beach. For the sake of time, I did not do this, but if you want to make sure your sticker letters don't peel off, I would apply one layer of matte finish Mod Podge to the front of your project before you go about gluing on your fish and your starfish. But here I just took the clips off the back of the fish. Well, I just cut off the pieces that were sticking out 
and then I'm just going to hot glue them on randomly on the sign where I want them. I think these little fish are so cute. I just kept them the natural wood color, and then I'm going to glue one of the starfish down at the bottom. Then rather than just doing a single piece of jute twine to make a hanger, I took three pieces and I'm just going to do a simple braid, braiding them together. And then we will hot glue this, um, the two ends of it to the back of our sign to make it be able to hang. And here's our finished product. I love that by using the paint sticks, you can make signs like this as big or as small as you want to then decorate in any decor style. DIY number five is one of my past projects, but I think it fits in so well with this theme. I'm going to make some beachy lanterns using actual Jenga blocks that I purchased at a thrift store. You can see here I'm going to use 32 blocks to make a large lantern, and I'm going to use 16 that you can see there at the top to make the smaller version. I do end up making one large lantern and two small lanterns to use a total of 64 blocks. Now to cover up the Jenga word, I choose to use truffle chalk paint, and then once that's dry, we will distress over the top of it. But my goal is to try and cover up as much as possible the word Jenga. For the large lantern, I'm going to use wood glue and I'm gonna make four of these upside down U's, having two Jenga blocks on each side and three across the top. So like I said, just use the Gorilla wood glue and I'm gluing these so that they're on their side, but first I'm laying them flat to glue two together for each side and the three together that'll go across the top. So like I said, we'll do four sets of this. And now that my sticks of two and three Jenga blocks are dried, I'll be gluing those together using the same wood glue in those upside down U shapes. So here are the four sets that I'm making for my large lantern. And for each of the small lanterns, I made four upside down U's looking like this with two across the top and one on each side. Then taking my four pieces for my large lantern, I'm going to glue one to the side right at the um, space there you can see between the two top pieces. And then we'll continue going around the square gluing in the same place. So here's piece number two is glued to the side of piece number one, and then I'll take piece number three and glue it to the side of piece number two, and so forth. Then we'll glue our upside down U's together for the small lantern. Again, they'll have one block on each side and two across the top.
Then once those are dry, we will again glue the right one onto the left. You can see I've got them kind of in a pinwheel motion there. And you'll just put a little dab of wood glue at the top and the bottom until they are all connected together and then let that fully dry. And here's what our large lantern looks like when it's all dry. I am going to take some sandpaper or you can take a hand sander and again, distress it so that it gives it that distressed farmhouse beach decor look. And then we will also dry brush some paint on top. First, I'm going to start with the darker gray, that is elephant. And then once that's dry, we'll go over the top with a little bit of white. Once our lanterns are made, all we need to do now is get some jars to go in our lanterns. And I will say that this year, 2022, Dollar Tree does have some really great options for this, but here I'm just using plain mason jars and using some nautical rope around the top to tie them into the nautical beach decor. And for my two smaller jars, I will just use the jute twine from Walmart. And here's our finished lanterns with empty jars. And you can see that you've got lots of room to get them in there. And then to make them even more special for beach, you can add some rocks, you can add some sea glass and this is what they look like. Please hop over to Facebook and make sure to like and follow my Monarch Mom DIY Facebook page. I would really appreciate it. For DIY number six, we're going to make a mirror that looks like the wheel at a ship's helm using one of these Frisbees, a mirror, some ends from paint sticks, and some jute twine. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut away the center part of our little frisbee here from Dollar Tree Summer Toys and you can discard that or save it for another project. Then I'm also going to use the ends of these five gallon paint sticks. You will need eight of them. It's a great way to reuse the pieces that you cut off to make signs. Then I'm going to take some white Waverly chalk paint and give a good coat of that to my frisbee and also to the ends of the paint sticks. Then taking our Dollar Tree mirror, round mirror, we're just going to pop out the backing and the mirror so that we can paint the frame of it white as well. Now using some truffle Waverly chalk paint and a chippy brush, I'm going to dry brush over the frisbee that we painted white to give this a distressed wood look. And we'll do the same thing to the eight paint stick ends that we'll be using for our ship's wheel as well. Then taking some of the jute cord from Walmart, this part takes the longest. I'm going to be wrapping it around this middle section of the Frisbee. I love this even though it does take some time to pull the cord through. It looks really cool when it's done to have this added texture and dimension to the project.
Then once the twine is all done, we can take our paint stick pieces and we're gonna glue those to the top, the bottom, and each of the sides. And then I will put the five, six, seven, and eight in between those. You'll see what I mean here in just a second. So there's the top and the bottom, and now I've added the two sides, and then the other four sticks will be glued in the center of the other two. And here's what we have so far. I think it actually looks pretty good like this if you don't wanna use the mirror. But if you are, then go ahead and glue your mirror and your backing back into the frame that we painted white. Once that's put together, all we have to do is hot glue the mirror onto the top of our jute twine circle. And then your last step is just to add some jute twine so that you can hang this gorgeous mirror on the wall. In DIY 7 is a nautical robe beach sign. I've used this method many times where you take paint sticks and fill in the back of a frame. You can see this frame I've painted agave and then distressed it with truffle and now I'm going to take these one gallon paint sticks and I'm going to fill them in on the back to replace whatever was in the back. I'm going to paint five of them with antique wax, four with elephant, four with pool, four with mineral, and five with white. Then all I'm going to do once those are dry is I'm going to hot glue those into the back of our frame doing a mixture of the colors and then you'll see here what we end up with is a really pretty beach colored background using these very inexpensive wood paint sticks. Then to finish off this sign, I'm just taking one piece of the white cotton nautical rope from Dollar Tree. You can see I spelled the word beach kind of in cursive, as much as you can do cursive using rope. And I would recommend laying out the entire word before you start hot gluing it down. And then once you do, you'll have this beautiful beach sign. I have mine hanging in my downstairs bathroom, which is all a beach theme. Thanks again so much for joining me today. Please let me know in the comments which of these projects was your favorite, and we'll see you next time.